The best duels and finals of Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, you can find them on this channel. Learn from the best players in the world. Welcome to a new video of the channel. For today I bring you this duel among the best players in dueling book. We are in a ranked game and the match will be between an Adamancipator deck versus a Sky Striker deck. Both decks are meta tier 1 in Yu-Gi-Oh currently. But certainly the Adamancipator is complete and did not suffer any nerf in the last ban list. And the Sky Striker, although many said it was no longer relevant, is demonstrating its power before the goal. Player Retribution won the first turn, as we can see it does not have a very good hand, but it does have a Doki Doki Initiator. And if I summon it in a normal way, I activate the effect but the Sky game had effect Veiler and denied the effect. This was a bit risky on the part of the deck Sky Striker, since his only hand trap was used very soon. Well now I activate the Adamancipator Signs card, allowing you to revive a rock-type monster from the graveyard. Once with two monsters, he decided to do IP Mascarena, he will remove the three rock-type monsters that he has two in a cemetery and one in hand, to summon Block Dragon. This seems like a bad move, but it is the best he has, so he will manage to make several pluses, for the effect of Block Dragon when he goes to the cemetery. I use IP and Block to make Unicorn, here the only thing he tries is what I mentioned he only wants to activate the effect of Block Dragon to look for three rocks from his deck at hand. I am looking for Giants, Adamancipator Researcher and Seeker, excellent decisions to continue with his play, that this time he will not be able to stop the Sky Striker deck, since he no longer has a hand trap. I summon Giants by removing a rock, and it's clear that I also summon Researcher. Activate the effect and summon the blue crystal, and that one lets you draw a card. Well now he goes to safety using Unicorn and Giants to summon Appaloosa, very well executed, with this he ensures that they do not make a Nibiru. Well now, with you place the trap, and with that you can activate it which gives you another level 4 monster. He uses them to summon the XYZ Granite. This monster allows you to search for a rock from your deck at hand. In this case I look for his third copy of Block Dragon. Carry on with the play and now I'll go for the Crystron combo. At this point the Adamancipator game decided to go for a move to increase its resources and summon the Link Skull Dread to draw 4 cards from the deck. I summon Adamancipator Analyzer, activate the effect and have the option to summon Gate Blocker, an excellent monster against Sky Striker. I used Gate Blocker and Analyzer to summon by Synchro Raptite. This allowed him to summon another Gate Blocker back to the field. Finally he summoned Block Dragon again, and the Adamancipator player's turn ends. Ok the Sky Striker turn started pretty well with that infinite impermanence top which I use against Gate Blocker, I look for Ray with Rota. This tip in Sky Striker is very important as long as you have the field and Sky Strier Ray, you can take the benefit for free, this targeting the monster with the field and chaining the Ray effect to invoke a Sky Striker link, that way you can add free a card without destroying any of yours. I also use the Sky Striker multiroll effect to destroy it and be able to bring a Sky Striker Ace from the deck. He made Link to Hayate and with this attack I attack Appaloosa who already has little attack. With this you can send a Sky Striker card from the deck to the graveyard. By destroying a monster in the opponent's extra monster zone, the Sky Striker Rose effect can be activated to summon it to the field. Ok, with these two Sky monsters on the field, I summon Sky Striker Z, which allows you to remove a monster until the end of the opponent's turn, and remove Block Dragon. Then destroy the Synchro, with Afterburners and then do it again, since it is recovered with Kagari. And it also destroys Gate Blocker. Finally, Shizuko summons. Seeing the top card, the Adamancipator player sees that he no longer has a chance to win and gives up in game number 1.
Game number two begins and by surprise the Adamancipator player decides to go for the second turn. I guess it was by side deck and I add cards like evenly matched or lightning storm to clear your opponent's field. But let's see how this ends. The Sky Striker has a good hand, but he doesn't have much to do, he just sets the traps, summons Ray and links Shizuka. End the turn and find the field of the Sky Strikers. Well as I told you, the Sky Striker player made a very good top decking, since Lightning Storm came out to clean up his opponent. Very good move. Now you will start your combo with Analyzer. Since with Called by the Grave he has a guaranteed turn to win. It has all the combos, the truth was that it was very good to go on the second turn. It opened with a perfect hand for that. And only before starting the Crystron combo does the Sky Striker player know he has nothing to do and he wins the second game. This leaves us in a tie and we go for the third game. We started the last duel of this match. Player Adamancipator will go first turn, he has a good hand, but what he doesn't know is that the Sky Striker has Nibiru ready to interrupt. The best thing the Adamancipator could do is find his denier and thus be able to play quietly. But Sky has two more hand traps. Start with Analyzer, Summon Gate Blocker. It performs XYZ Granite, but the effect is negated with the hand trap. The deck Sky uses terraforming to search for Mystic Mine and thus have more time since it does not have a good play in hand. Luckily Adamancipator has Twin Twister so that won't be a problem. He uses the Granite effect again, but the Sky player tries to stop him with Ash Blossom, in response he uses Called by the Grave to continue the move and cancel the Ash Blossom effect. After this the Adamancipator has free way to make all his plays since he can deny Nibiru, and thus he could win the game. He is using the effects of his monsters, to gradually scandalize the best monsters on the extra deck. As I mentioned the Nibiru was negated very easily with the Herald Synchro. And well this is how victory takes one of the best dueling book players see you next time. Thanks for watching the video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the best Yu-Gi-Oh decks, also your subscription is useful for you to enter to next the giveaways.